Hello everyone, this is Jozef Neut here and in this video I would like to bring you a video on how you can install OpenFOAM version 2106 on Windows 10 and Ubuntu. Previously I had some installation videos for example for 2012 or 1912 but a small thing changed so this is uh, why I'm bringing you this and I guess for 2020 this will also be correct and 2023 from now on this is the way how you will install in Windows 10 and Ubuntu. I will bring a separate video for Windows 11. So let's just jump in. So it is a very, very simple installation. It's a two-step installation. In Ubuntu is just a one-step installation. And uh, well, of course, there is a bit more to it. So it is actually there are two sub steps in the first step and three sub steps in the second step, but they are very simple. So the first step is to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux in Windows 10 and then install Ubuntu from the Microsoft Store. Now, if you're already in Ubuntu, you can skip the first step and then continue with step two and then so what we have to do now in uh, Ubuntu, in the Windows subsystem for Linux, as well as in a na native Ubuntu, we have to add the signing key to your system and the repository location. And then um, we can go on with installing OpenFOAM. Now for that, uh, for the first step, Windows subsystem for Linux, I already had a video, so I'm just going to cut uh, the video from 2010 because nothing changed since then. I will do comment it and then we will come back to 2021 for installing OpenFOAM 2106. Okay, so what we have to do is now in Windows 10, we have to search for the entry turn Windows features on or off in your search bar in Windows and then click on it. This will bring up a uh, a window called Windows Features and this is needed for Ubuntu. You have to scroll down to the very bottom. There you will find Windows Subsystem for Linux. Click it, click on OK. Then this will be um, uh, made available and now you have to do a restart of your system. So just go ahead and then click on Restart Now and then your system will be restarted and then once this uh, your system is back again, then we can continue with the actual next step, which is installing Ubuntu in this Windows subsystem for Linux from the Microsoft Store. For that, go to, again to your search bar and then open up the Microsoft Store. And then in the Microsoft Store, just go to the search bar and then type in Ubuntu and most probably when you are watching this you will have uh, several versions of Ubuntu here you can see 1804 just get the latest LTS version so 2004 2204 or uh, 222404 the latest LTS version and then click on install this will download Ubuntu, so this will depend on your speed, on the speed of your internet, how fast this is going to take. But once you downloaded it, you will be prompted. Uh, uh, so, so when you uh, when this is uh, when this ended, you can cl close the Microsoft Store and then go to your Start menu and then open up Ubuntu uh, and then the version that you just installed. This will bring up. A terminal and then initially this will install a couple of initial things so it, and this will, might, may take a couple of minutes depending on your system how fast it is but once it finished then you come to the point where you can enter your Linux uh, username so this doesn't have to be the username of your Windows uh, user this can be any username you prefer and then afterwards you have to type in your password and uh, please take care that you won't see any stars like you would see in Windows just type in you nothing will change and then once you typed in your password press press enter and then afterwards um, you will be prompted with a second uh, uh, we will be prompted a second time to put in your password and that is it. Now you successfully installed Windows subsystem for uh, Linux as well as Ubuntu in 
the VSL. Now we can go come to the second step and this is what you will also now do in Ubuntu. So first things first, you go to openfoam.com and then you go to the download section and then click Linux there and then here you can see uh, which versions of Linux are supported or which uh, just operating systems are supported. And here we will click on Ubuntu because we just installed Ubuntu in VSL. If you are running on native Ubuntu, then also you please click on Ubuntu. <clears throat> and then if we scroll a little bit below, we have the three steps now that we have to execute. First, we have to add the signing key uh, to, uh, to our system and what does this mean? This means that we have to copy a command from uh, this home page with uh, starting with curl minus s and so just copy it go to your uh, to your terminal to your uh, Ubuntu terminal paste it your password will be uh, asked type in your passport password wait a little bit and then it's done. Then in the next step, we had to, to add the repository location to your to our system. So this is then the next command that you will find on the home page, beginning with wget. Just copy the entire command and then paste it. You have to wait a little bit. And then once this is finished, now we can come to the very last step, which is installing open foam itself. And then this is also just one command that you have to execute starting with sudo apt get install and then this and then type in capital Y for yes to continue and then depending on the speed of your internet this may take some time to download open foam and this is a pre-compiled version of open foam so then afterwards it will be available for your system. So now I will just skip ahead to the location where uh, we finished. So here you see what we, the last thing that we have to do is add this one line into our bash RC. And you can do this by type in nano and then bash RC. Then with the cursor keys go to the very bottom paste this one line or type it in and then you save and exit. Now you can save in this text editor called Nano by pressing Ctrl O and then pressing Enter and then you can also exit this text editor by pressing Ctrl X and then pressing Enter. So this is not, not a big deal. It is just a text editor uh, which opens up a text file in the uh, tech, uh, in your command line. You can also use an external text editor. Okay, and now we should have OpenFoam available. Uh, if you just want to uh, load OpenFoam one times, then you just type in the command that we just copied and press enter. This will enable OpenFoam for only this one session and will be forgotten for the next session. So if I, we type in simple foam, then we get a simple foam with 2106. Now your open foam is stored under slash user lib and open foam as you can see here. So it's not in your home uh, anymore. If you want to, then you can just copy it into your home. Uh, but here you have your full installation, also the tutorials. I would advise you to copy your tutorials to your home so you have right permissions there. Uh, if you don't have it in slash user. Okay, so now let's just uh, run a quick tutorial here. I'm just going to copy the Pits Daily tutorial from the Simple Foam and, and then start it really quick. So let's just go in, type in block mesh and then Simple Foam, enter, and you can see that the simulation is correctly running. And also you can see that Simple Foam is from 2106. So this was it uh, for installing open foam in Windows 10 and or, or Ubuntu. So the last thing that I want to possibly add. So if you want to download and use Paraview, just go to paraview.org to the download section and then select the latest version for either Windows or Ubuntu and download it and then just use that. 
This is, in my opinion, the simplest possibility, and then you can easily open up your simulation results with Paraview in Windows or in Ubuntu. Okay, so that was it. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you. I hope that this two-step installation in 2021 is simple enough for you. Uh, so with that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening, and I hope to see you next time.